Okay, ladies and gents, we're ready to move on with bout number two this evening. This one's sponsored by LM Grab Hire. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner from Optimum MMA. Give it up for Richard Patchett. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner from Elite Gym. Give it up for Danny Gotts. Introducing to you one more time, fighting out of the red corner from Optimum MMA. Give it up for Richard Patchett. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner from Elite Gym. Put your hands together for Danny Gotts. This mixed martial arts contest will be fought over three three minute rounds. Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Dan Moverheady. First MMA action of the evening then we've got from Optimum MMA in the red corner Richard Patchett in the red and black shorts his opponent the very popular Danny Gotts from the elite gym in the blue corner with the black shorts three three minute rounds referee Dan Moverhead he gets is underway and here we go the first fight of the evening from the elite gym got a lot of fighters on nice shot nice leg shot straight away from Danny Gotts both guys coming out fast again that nice leg kick from Gotts look for the takedown now from Patchett Well, this one's starting pretty ferociously. Awful lot of energy in there right now. Yeah, it's the adrenaline, isn't it, of the uh, of the fight. Both guys coming out fast. Gotts probably has had the better of the uh, the exchanges so far. He's done some nice leg kicks. Looking like he's got some spite in those hands. He's stuffed a takedown as well from Patchett. I think Patchett needs to be careful here. He's not necessarily got his distancing 100% spot on, and Gotts has got some fire in that right hand. He really has. Absolutely, Tom. That's a good read. He's fired that a couple of times. He's landed some nice leg kicks as well, and he looks for another one. Badly off balance there. Patchett came surging forward, decided against going to land anything. Again, landed a leg kick of his own, but was made to pay there from Gotts with that right hand. Both guys trading shots. 
That's it. Thought about going for the takedown. Nice push kick there from Gotts. They've gone a bit low. Straight back into the action though, Tom. Yeah, some equal exchanges here. I was a little bit concerned for Patchy at the beginning. Oh, okay, not necessarily the best move there. He needs to be careful if he's going to be covering up. He really leaves himself open for a body kick or a takedown when he does that. So he shoots again there. You see, Gotts is really landing some nice jabs. He's, he's bloodied the nose now, Patchy. Crimson is running and he's wearing that damage. And I think Patchy is probably thinking he needs to take this fight to the floor now because it seems that Gotts has got the greater firepower on the feet, Tom. Yeah, absolutely. Early point about distancing. Patchy just hasn't quite got it right at this point. He takes the shot, he covers up, he needs to be moving, he needs to be making it difficult for Gotts. But at this point, he's a stationary target and he's just taking shots left, right and centre. Yeah, bleeding quite heavily from the nose. Another nice leg kick from Gotts. Really digs that in with spike the shin into the thigh. And that'll stop you moving. And that can end the fight. He's ended three very quickly there. And let me tell you, Richard Patchy's leg is going to be hurt. And shoots for the takedown again. In on the single, but Gotts again stuffs it. You wonder what Patchy's got to do here to get foothold in the fight. Another low kick there from Gotts. Needs to start checking them if I'm Patchy. I think if Patchy wants to get this fight to the floor, he's got to punch into a takedown, Tom. He's got to kind of do something to occupy Gotts, make him think the hands are coming, and then maybe and get the shoot for the double leg and get the takedown because at the moment he's not having the best of it on on the feet yeah absolutely he needs a deterrent because at the moment he's not threatening gots with anything dangerous that's making him think twice about just walking forwards with those combinations I, I, I might be preempting something a little bit more extraordinary but i feel like gots is setting up something in that right leg i feel like he's got something something that he's holding back in round number one there of course the classic thing would be now he's hammered that that leg low numerous times we take it up top um, when Patch is expecting a low kick and maybe looks to, to block that. If he goes up top, maybe we could see a big fight ending KO. But certainly in that first round, Tom, Danny Gotts seemed to have the better of it on the feet and Patch just couldn't get it to the floor. Yeah, we just need to see a bit more, uh, a bit more aggression, a little bit more um, conviction from Patch it. I think moving into round number two. We'll shot for a couple of takedowns, but not with any real impetus, not with any real desire, it seemed to get. Uh, to get Gotts down to the ground. I mean, he's not going to stand much of a chance if he comes out with the same mentality in round number two. OK, here we go. About to get underway. Down my head, he's having a, a good chat with Patchy. He's obviously bleeding from the nose. That's also going to affect his breathing and his cardio. Danny Gotts, more of the same probably as what Scott Butters, the guy in his corner, the elite gym pro fighter, has told him. But Patrick comes out with a nice leg kick straight away. If he does want to get this fight to the floor, he's just got to... Oi! Oh, staggers Gotts with the jab and then gives it the come on. Let's have... Oh! Gotts comes right back with a big right hand! And this fight is over, Tom. Patrick staggered Gotts with a jab and then Gotts came back with the right hand from hell, which finished it. You've got to feel that... Patchett may well have deserved that one, Mark. <laughs> After being completely not in it for two rounds, one and a bit rounds, gives it the big one, and Danny Gotts doesn't like that. He comes right back and shows him who's boss. Absolutely. Big right hand finish there from Danny Gotts. And my broadcast partner will now jump into the cage to give us the official decision. Very impressive showing from the elite gym fighter, the popular local man, Danny Gotts. And I'd like to see more of him because he showed fantastic composure on the feet a big right hand and then a fantastic finish and it was time to put the exclamation point on proceedings he found it and that was all she wrote for his opponent Richard Patchett Ladies and gents, let's hear it for both these guys in the cage. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, let's hear it for him from the Blue Corner Elite Gym, Danny Gott.
Thank you for that for Richard Patchett.